is when you see us on that beach in Hawaii, but you know that we're really there right now. This is no camera trick or computer effect. In fact, come to any show on my tour and you'll see this live with different people every night. And tonight is your night. We got to take that picture for your dad. Close your eyes and imagine your perfect place. Pier 94 in New York for a history-making event. Inside this warehouse, David Copperfield is about to attempt to stand in the center of a 2,000-degree tornado of fire and survive. The slightest disturbance in the airflow inside can change the way the tornado moves and could be the difference between life and death. Only David's safety team and camera crew are inside. We're going now. They're ready, so here we go. The time has come. This has got to be the toughest thing David has ever done to stand in the center of a 2,000 degree tornado of fire without getting burned alive. I can tell you what, I was in there earlier and that is one hot fire. Uh, no. Can I ask you a favor? Talk me out of it. Glad to see that David still has a sense of humor. Now there, those are some of the air movers. fake tornado. They've engineered air movers and turbine engines to create a real F2 tornado on the Fujita scale, capable of blowing down a house. That's damn strong. There are no trap doors, and there it is, a solid ceramic floor engineered to withstand the extreme heat generated by the fire. David is wearing fire-resistant Nomex from head to toe. But look at the test we recorded earlier. You'll see that if the fire touches David, the protection it offers is meaningless. 
Look at the damage around the eyes. Now he's putting on the hood. They're applying fire gel on his eyebrows and eyelashes, but David has to have his eyes exposed in order to locate the core of the tornado. Now they're tying these fire-resistant straps around David's arms. The ends of the straps are anchored to the steel structure and will be held by these two members of the safety team. The purpose is to help compensate for the front and back movement of the wind. This is real fire. They're lighting the gas pilots that are used to ignite the gallons of liquid propane that'll be fueling the tornado. The fire will reach temperatures of 2,000 degrees in less than a second. Now the perimeter is surrounded by witnesses to watch from every angle. Take a look at this fire test done earlier. You'll see that even from their position, 40 feet away, they can attest to the power and extreme heat of this tornado. 2,000 degrees is hot enough to liquefy steel. They're testing the smoke now. The idea is to use it to locate the core and stay in it. It's the only safe spot. We're pumping cold air into that core to help compensate for the heat. David has control over starting the fire with the remote button in his hand. That's it right there. Now remember, this is not an illusion. If the tornado core moves, David has to move with it. I can't imagine what he's thinking right now. This is one continuous shot we will not cut away. Let's all wish him luck.